just want to see. I was wondering if this would actually record me being so close. Oh, it's lovely. I was watching a, a YouTube doc documentary and it said about uh, that you could actually clear up disease and such by running electricity through your body, through your blood specifically. It's quite good that it's actually kicking back in again because um, I'm running this pretty much full board. That's 20 volts going into the uh, going into the base, I believe. But I realise I can just come in and switch the light on now by by putting my hands by it, and voila wireless electricity considering the nearest socket is on the other well down the, down the end of the room there so uh, maybe you can see the window probably not that well but you know that's quite a good bit of light um, admittedly I suppose you know what we're, what we're doing here 2.8 at 20, 20 volts. Uh, so we're like close on to sort of 60 watts. But still, solid state Tesla. Mm, I think that's what it is. I don't even know what this is, you know, it's a candle. It is too big. I've actually got some pipe that I cut. Oh that I cut uh, today. And so you can see the size that that's gonna be. And compared to that, and I'll be doing those. Um, I'm waiting for some different magnet wire, some thinner magnet wire. I've got two of these exactly the same height, and I'm gonna do them exactly the same. And see if I can um, see if I can transmit energy from one to the other. So yeah, that'd be quite interesting. Oh, I do love that. I know it's not a lot, but I know that the camera's being inserted by it. But still, it's nice to have that little bit of light there. Ow, so what was that? I'll give it a bit of a an uh you know too. That's lovely. Absolutely lovely. I think I am sort of pushing the chip to the limit. I only carry on pushing it because I want to see what I can actually do with it. I've got a whole bunch of spares for these, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna prat around. I've got quite a few different chips now. Some higher powered ones, some higher rated ones. Uh, two in thirty fifty five is it or twenty five? Oh, I can't I can't remember. But I've also been told that they're no good. But a lot of people seem to be using them and saying they're pretty good, so I'm gonna give them a bash. But I've got five, so it's a little bit of experimenting. 
And I've also got some, no, 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 I can't remember the IMJ E's or something. Uh, this other fellow with the same sort of circuit was playing with those and so they're pretty good. I thought I'd get a few of those, so I'm going to put seven out and see what the base there. I just don't know what the voltage is on these put in, I can't remember. Um, but I'm going to push this circuit a little bit more and see what happens. Let's see if I can just back away here. Well, I've managed to turn it up to 22. And it still seems to be alive. And the, the chip that is not there. The transistor, I should say. Twenty-two volt, pulling three point one amp. That's just you can't see. Oh, you can if I press the button. So you get to see it on that meter because because uh, whenever I put my hands near to the other one, near to here, that it starts going all over the place. And I really, and I really don't know what it is doing, but I know that if I got this here, and I can see this other meter. Even with the light, it doesn't hardly stay on. And if I can see this other meter here, at least I know what's actually happening uh, on the front here. So, I don't know, it's going to click in. This is past 20 volts, it says maximum. But, still seems to be on and working. So I'm going to give it a... Oh. It's got a pop. 24 volts, come on. Okay, let's get a little bit higher. Oh, I'm current limited now. Oh. So let's just uh, up the current a bit. Okay, we're back to voltage limited. So we're going to just over 26. 26.3. Alright, so Now, I wonder if, where is this? I can maybe there to see what goes on inside this. It's such a pity that this camera cannot pick up what's actually happening inside this ball. It is such a pity because there's some lovely effects going on inside there and this camera is quite rubbish and you can't actually pick that up. There's my little favourite. There it is. I do love the... Uh, I do love that. Uh, this is nice to look at. I, I got these like Edison type bulbs thinking I would get some great effects out of them. Uh, but unfortunately, that just doesn't happen. Uh, one of the bulbs that I actually got sent was, uh, was broken when it got here. And that's this one here, I don't know if you can see it. But it doesn't actually do anything. They don't. They don't actually. Uh, oh, okay. There's a little bit. Oh, you get to see that. So it does do something, but it requires a bit more. Um, yeah, I think you can see inside there. Yeah, that's actually going through from the coil itself. And it's also coming out and hitting the finger. So I presume that's just going to any old bit of metal. There's some replacement out of flux. It's going to go in the front room. There you go, this is going on way too long. Sorry about that. Um, 
I just thought I'd show again, you know, the beauty of the old, uh, the old exciter coil. Thanks for watching. Bye.